Whether you're a hardcore airsoft player, just play video games, or into real guns, everybody knows the AK. Which is why today we're taking a look at the Echo One Rifle Dynamics AK700. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel, and whether you believe it or not, we do read your comments. And we know for a fact that one of the most common comments is, not another M4. So that's why we're taking a look at this Rifle Dynamics AK that has a lot of great features that define it as an AK, but a couple extras that do make it stand out as well. Starting with the back, we have a very common folding AK style stock. You have a button on the left that once you press it, it'll fold to the side and lock against the receiver. While this feature is really great in collapsing the size of the entire gun, it does have one disadvantage where the battery compartment will not be in the stock, but in the upper receiver instead. That's not too big of a problem, but it does limit the size of the battery to a stick type battery that is also included with the gun. Moving on to the receiver, the receiver stock and the outer barrel is gonna be all metal. We do have a few polymer parts such as the pistol grip and the handguard. We have a selector switch on the right side which is very standard for all AKs. Top is gonna to be safe, in the middle is gonna be full auto and bottom is gonna be semi-automatic. Another basic feature that I do like about AKs is the standard magazine release that makes it great for ambidextrous shooters or somebody who's left or right handed. Now one of the other features about this AK that does make it a little bit more modern is the rail that is on the left side of the gun. This rail is designed to have an aftermarket rail segment attached to it so you can have a rail directly over the rail system if you do decide. Otherwise this gun does have a rail included directly above the gas block. Now this rail that comes included on top of the gas block was one of the key features that I really like with this AK. My play style is definitely to be very fast and aggressive, so I set up these accessories with that mindset. Now keep in mind that the accessories you see on the rail do not come included with the gun, but I put these accessories on there to go with that mindset of simple and effective. So on the top, we do have a Lancer Tactical Micro uh, Red Dot. That red dot does go red and green, and I chose that specifically because it goes really low profile with the rifle, and then I have a 90 degree mount with a nighttime evolution, or a night evolution light with a pressure switch that I've attached to the left side. So when I get down, on target, I can easily flash the light when I need to and acquire my sights very quickly. Now this is the way that I would personally set up this AK if this was my own gun, but the nice thing about this rail is that you can add any optic that you want and with the availability of a lot of different 45 degree offset mounts or 90 degree offset mounts, you still only have the upper rail, but you still have plenty of options of throwing on any accessory that you want. Now besides having a pretty solid exterior, the internals are also pretty good. What we're gonna have is seven millimeter ball bearings that's gonna be good for the gears to rotate smoothly and freely. We're also gonna have a sector clip or a sector delayer, which improves the feeding of the gun overall. Another great thing that I do like that comes internally is a one piece all metal hop up unit included with a Mad Bull blue bucket. Now the Mad Bull Blue Bucking is one of my personal favorite buckings of all time that I actually have in about three of my guns right now that I would highly recommend matching with a Miracle Barrel and that's how I run them with my guns. That bucking alone is very solid and will increase the efficiency and reliability of your hop up and overall is a great upgrade. Now this gun is gonna come included with the gun two high cap magazines that are gonna hold 500 plus BBs a piece. That's over a thousand rounds straight out of the box. Uh, it will also come with the battery and charger, so it is, in all essence, a full package. This gun also has a great FPS out of the box for an outdoor field. It's gonna be shooting 390 to 400 FPS, which is absolutely perfect. If you guys are interested in this gun at all, be sure to check it out on our website at airsoftgi.com, where it's retailing for $250, which is actually not a bad deal if you consider all the features and all the stuff that it does come with. So as usual, guys, if you have any questions at all about this gun, feel free to comment in the section below and we'll do our best to get to them as quickly as possible. Otherwise, once again, my name is Daniel. This is GITV. Thanks for watching.